and welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Universal Studios, and by we, I mean you and I. That's right, no Nikki today, so it's a solo edition of Rich Flicks, and it's starting right now. So guys, in the description below, there's a link for you to request a Rich Flicks welcome letter. I get some very interesting video ideas from that. Here's one, now we're not gonna do it today, I just wanna preview this for you guys, but it's, if I design Universal, if Nikki and I design Universal, what would we do? I have a very good idea, I, I think I've mentioned this before, if not, I love this when it has to do with Jaws, let me tell y'all about it. If I designed Universal, you know these water taxis, the waterways here, I would put a couple of Jaws in here. That way, when the guests are taking the water taxis from their hotels to the resort, there would be a Jaws that would pop up I think that would be so cool. I would love to have a couple of Jaws in these waterways. Well, that was quite the welcome this morning. Okay guys, with that Jaws idea out there in the universe, let's get on to today's topic, which is Halloween Horror Night rumors. Okay guys, before I get too deep into the rumors here about Halloween Horror Nights, I guess I need to explain why Nikki is not here today. You see, our youngest daughter, Courtney, is her senior year in high school, and they are painting their parking spaces today. So, you know how Nikki likes to paint rocks? She's painting a really big rock today, a big flat rock. Okay guys, now that I have made it onto Hollywood Boulevard, let's talk about these rumors. Much like the Goonies, I have come in possession of a map. A map of all the houses and the scare zone, supposedly. Let's talk about these rumors and this supposed leaked map. So this map is projecting this Hollywood Boulevard area to be the scare zone for Revenge of Chucky. And as we look up on the rooftops here, we can see they have all the lighting effects pretty much all set up, which is about all they really do to this scare zone. Maybe they'll roll in some props, but as we look on the roof, we can see they've got the projection system, the lighting system, pretty much all set up for this rumored Revenge of Chucky Scare Zone. Okay guys, so we're going to move on to Scare Zone number two, which this is not rumored. This is pretty much fact. We know this is going to be Twisted Traditions over here in Central Park. Let's go check it out. So guys, you may remember this scare zone as Trick or Treat from last year. You may recognize the pumpkins. They're reusing those again this year for the Twisted Tradition scare zone. Even though it's a reuse of the pumpkins, it's still going to look pretty awesome in here. Moving on from the Twisted Tradition scare zone, we're going to walk through uh, Springfield here. Now last year this was a scare zone that had clowns, but it will not be a scare zone this year. Last year it had the, you know, the clowns with chainsaws. Nikki's favorite and there will be a clown section again this year we'll uh, discuss that when we get to that actual area where they're gonna have that scare zone but let's just walk through Springfield here I need to get to the coke refreshment center to do some shout outs and by the way guys I am real interested if this map that I came in possession of is actually going to work out okay guys I am really far behind in giving my coke shout out so let's do a little couples edition right now and then maybe at the end of the video I'll do a few more I like to share a coke with Carl and Lorraine next up we have Leonardo and Samantha and also for today let's share a coke with Megan and Brent 
Okay guys, I'm over here by the location of a rumored house, but I totally forgot to mention, since I last talked to you about Halloween Horror Nights, there are two more confirmed houses. We have Poltergeist, which I think is from 1984, and then we also have Halloween 4 from 1988. And by the way, I've added t-shirts for both of those houses into my theme park shop. Links below, go get yourself a Halloween Horror Nights t-shirt or go get yourself an awesome theme park t-shirt. So over here, just to the left of the Men in Black building, we can see a tent. We can see there's gonna be a house here. Now this is the spot of a rumored house. The rumored house is to be Blum House. Now of the two rumor houses that I have today, I feel really good about this one. There was a Blumhouse haunted house here last year. Now the theme for this Blumhouse is rumored to be Happy Death Day and First Purge. Now that I'm not so sure about. I mean, the whole theming of this Halloween Horror Nights is supposed to be the 1980s and those aren't really 80s movies, but given the relationship between Blumhouse and Universal, I am very likely to believe that this will be a Blumhouse scare maze. Now, as far as the theming of Happy Death Day and um, the first Purge, I'm a little less sure, but it probably will be. I mean, I feel pretty good about it, given the relationship between the two entities. We're just gonna have to wait and find out, aren't we? Now, as far as Happy Death Day, that is one that Nikki really likes. She really enjoys that movie, so I'm really hoping that one is true. So as we walk by the Fear Factor Stadium, we can see they are already hiding the signage for Fear Factor. Fear Factor is not going to have any shows for a while because they are getting the stage all ready for the Academy of Villains. Okay guys, so we're moving into San Francisco, which was a site of a scare zone last year. Remember that big alien spaceship that was crashed and the aliens walking around? Well. There will not be a scare zone here this year. It's moved a little further down the road. I'll show you that in a second. As I'm leaving San Francisco, they've got some construction walls up over here by Richter Burgers. I really like how they themed the construction walls here because I love the movies. Check out these great old movie posters. We've got the Wolfman, we've got the Mummy, we've got Dracula. I can't believe how old some of these movies are. So like from the 1930s? And here we go, we've got a Jaws. Is this turning into a Jaws vlog or what today? Since I have mentioned my Jaws idea today, I need to let you guys know that Universal really does not accept ideas that are submitted to them. I tried it one time, uh, I emailed a, I can't remember the department, but I emailed them an idea I had, and I got like this standard boilerplate lawyer type letter back, you know, written by the legal department, just to cover their bases, like, it was not saved, it was deleted right away. We can, we're sorry, but we cannot accept submissions like this. You know how we are in this country. You know, someone could submit an idea that Universal already had planned, and then uh, they wanna sue Universal for using their idea, and they're not getting compensated for their idea, things like that, so we really cannot submit ideas ourselves. And by the way, since I am talking about Jaws so much today, I did do a whole video on finding Jaws at Universal Studios today. Right now, when you visit the park, there are several homages to Jaws over in Diagon Alley, because that's where they built over the old Jaws attraction. Go check out that video, pretty interesting stuff. So this section here, this little strip of road in between the lagoon and like Starbucks and this old New York area, this is the rumored spot of killer clowns from outer space. I am so excited for this scare zone. Nikki hates clowns and I love watching her be scared by clowns. So I see a lot of lighting in this area and I don't think it's related to the Lagoon show, the new nighttime show. So I am pretty sure that this will be the scare zone and you know, most likely it will be the killer clowns from outer space. So like I said, based on Nikki's fear of clowns and based on my love of seeing Nikki scared, I think this, the killer clowns from outer space is gonna be my most anticipated scare zone of Halloween Horror Nights 2018. Okay guys, we are in old New York to discuss the next scare zone on the list, Vamp 1985. Now according to our Goonies map, our Marauders map, this old section here of where, um, remember the last few years it's been the Purge. The Purge will not be here this year as a scare zone, but this is the spot that is rumored to be the Vamp New Year's Eve like 
party bash that's happening with vampires and such. This one, I totally believe this makes perfect sense to have Vamp 1985 in this area. So other than the killer clowns from outer space, I think Vamp 1985 is going to be my second most anticipated scare zone. You're going to have a lot of big haired vixens walking around, vampires trying to scare you, trying to bite you. And plus, I just love the way this section of Universal, this old New York section looks. It looks really cool, especially at night and especially during Halloween Horror Nights. Okay guys, I know we're talking about Halloween Horror Nights, a lot of ugly, grotesque stuff. I think we need a break from this. Let's look and listen to something pretty. Marilyn and her dancers. All of them gorgeous, cute, pretty girls. Let's check them out right now. <laughs> There you go, Marilyn and the Diamond Bells. A little short on the Diamond Bells today. I've never seen the dance with just two dancers. Nonetheless, a lot of fun. Okay, don't be jealous, Nikki, but I got a photo with Marilyn and the Diamond Bells. Check it out right here. That's a wrap, folks. We'll be back for another rehearsal around 11.45 a.m. But until then, we will see you all on that silver screen. Right around here, this is a rumored spot for a house that has not been announced yet called Scary Tales deadly ever after now this is the house i'm testing my uh, source on if this becomes true if there really is a house here called scary tales then i'm going to know this is a pretty good source for next year so here we go we're coming upon the area of the last scare zone last of the five scare zones for this year now correct me if i'm wrong i think there were six scare zones last year only five this year but there's going to be 10 haunted houses which is supposed to be the most they ever had so right here in between uh, like say the Shrek ride and the Minions ride and attraction this is going to be the home of the Harvest Scare Zone. That's it guys we made a loop around talking about all the scare zones. Now I feel pretty good about where they're going to put everything as I'm reading about what the scare zones are seeing where the locations are they all make a lot of sense. So the thing I'm unsure about with these rumors are the two unannounced houses. The Blum House, which I do feel pretty good about that one. And the second one, Scary Tales. That's going to be the litmus test. That's going to let me know if this source of mine is accurate or not. Okay guys, so that's it for Halloween Horror Nights, but I'm at a theme park. I'm not a reporter. If you go to a theme park, ride a ride, have some fun. That's what I'm going to do right now. Well, this is different. I see Popeye and Olive Oil riding a bicycle around and they're heading towards the NBC Brass Band. Let's go see what's happening over there. So this is unique. I never see Popeye and Olive Oil with the NBC Brass Band. What's up with that, Popeye? You like that? You that was like a it? nice little treat, a nice surprise. Okay, guys, as I'm walking around Universal trying to figure out what ride I want to do, there's something I forgot to mention about Halloween Horror Nights. Now, we are going to do a March Madness style bracket again to try to determine the winning house, the scariest house in 2018. We will do that again. That's how we're going to determine the winner for Halloween Horror Nights 2018. But there will be like two sides of the bracket, I think. Like one night will come, we'll do one side, half the houses, we'll determine the winner of that side of the bracket. And then another night will come and we'll do the other side of the bracket. And then we will compare the two winning sides of the bracket and come up with a champion. Okay guys, so I'm kind of feeling the Transformers today. The standby wait time is 25 minutes, which means the single rider should go pretty quickly. Let's hop in there, single rider style. Your bravery saves the planet. Well done, freedom fighters. 
So yeah, single rider was a walk-on. I didn't even pause. I walked right onto a vehicle. That's how fast it was. Transformers, always a lot of fun. So very much like Spider-Man, it's not even funny. But I tell you what, it's more fun with Nikki. Everything's more fun with Nikki. And I have a little task for you guys. Now, as long as we've been vlogging, I've been the one holding the camera and Nikki walking behind me. She's never held the camera. I want her to do it. If this video gets 300 likes, Nikki will commit to holding the camera and I will walk behind her. Let's make it happen, people. 300 likes. You know what, guys? Getting off that Transformer ride reminds me of another rumor. What is going to go in this old Terminator building? Well, you know what? Paramount Pictures owns the movie rights to the Transformers. Paramount Pictures owns the movie rights to the Kelvin timeline of Star Trek. The Kelvin timeline is the current timeline with the Chris Pine movies. So, could it be that Star Trek is going to come in here to the old Terminator building? Let's think about that. So guys, I'm actually down here by the water taxis. Speaking to the skippers, they've already made this Jaws suggestion to management and they're not listening. We need to start an online petition to get Jaws in these water taxi waterways. I think that's going to do it today. Um, I'm missing Nikki. I'm going to see how that uh, parking spot's going. And if you want to check it out, subscribe to her YouTube channel. She's doing a time lapse today of the painting of that parking spot. So go check that out. And if you're so inclined, it's never expected, but always appreciated. Want to buy us a cup of coffee on our coffee page? That's a good way to support the channel. And also, let's not forget about those 300 likes. Let's get Nikki holding this camera. And with that being said, we're the Kennedys from Northern Ireland. And don't, don't miss, miss the, the magic. magic. Don't, don't miss, miss the fun. fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now it's time to relax.